Hey, hey, hey. No, let me stop. Um, hey, y'all. This is a glueless wig that I did on one of my favorite clients. Like, ooh, look how, look at that scalpiana, though. Mm, too cute but yes I'm starting off by braiding her hair and yes this is the quarantine slate this is that quarantine slate this is that um what is this I don't know but either way I am taking all the precautionary measures I don't even I think this was, this was the only client I actually took you know because I've had her for so long took her temperature or like you know like we're good like you know but I understand. I do want to make a video on how you can stay safe in your salon. Um, working with clients and being around clients. Um, as you can see, nobody else is working in the salon. I do have my partner, my business partner, and my friend Tati. One person, Tati, is my business partner and friend. Working in the salon today. Well, she's just cleaning. So, like, nobody actually works at the same time. So, it's just me and her. There's nobody else in our salon at the moment until they allow you know it to fully operate but right now it's just hairstyle it's gonna only work um and i don't even work because i'm still nervous about people you know people are dangerous but i make sure that i take all of the precautionary measures that i need to wash your hands of course wear a mask of course don't touch nothing and my, my clients know me don't touch nothing you don't need to get up you don't need to move you don't need to touch. You don't need to do nothing. I make sure I wipe off everything. Like, if you know me, you know that I am a clean freak. So this was just, like, normal for me. Like, I don't even play about the germs. And I don't play about getting sick because, one, I have asthma. And, two, my immune system is, like, shitty. Oops, sorry, YouTube. But it's not the greatest. But with God and eating healthy and... You know, taking the medicine that I need, I am safe, and I've been safe, and I'm very happy, and I thank God for that. But anyway, not to get off track. So yeah, you want to braid your client hair down. Now, look at my client hair. Like, these glueless wigs grow out your hair, making it so thick and full. It's just amazing. And the great part about being a hairstylist, is doing certain things. You work in mainly in the back of your client's head until you get to the front. So, and that's why... I always do glueless. I will always do glueless during a time like this. Because one is easy. You don't have to be in their face that much. And I can prepare the baby hairs before I even see you. So it's really faster to install this wig. Like literally. Like so fast. And as y'all, if y'all been on my Instagram page, I am Ashley Nicole. You would see that I have this client a lot. So I trust her a lot. And I, I see everything that she do. That's another thing. You want to make sure that you see everything that your client is doing because clients will lie to you. But hey, that's a story for another day. But they will lie. So you have to make sure you're watching everything that the client does or who they're with and everything. If I don't know you, I'm not taking you. That's just on that. So now, as y'all saw in my last video, I already did the baby hairs on this wig. But, you know, you have to make them fit her. You have to customize them for her. So, what I'm going in and doing is just lifting them up, going back, and I'm just going to customize them just a little bit more so they're just perfect for her. I did apply some um, Got To Be Yellow Bottle Gel onto her edge because of the fact that she has a photo shoot tomorrow. And I don't want it, I didn't want her to mess up her baby ears because y'all know that when you go, when your client leave you, or whatever the case may be, them edges be done or whatever well, no because my clients say see look i could just talk and talk so it don't even matter but yeah so yeah i put some gel in so her wig could be secured and that's just on that
So yeah, I'm going to go in and apply the mousse to her edges. Like I said, you want to customize the wig for your client. Now, I customized it already on my head, but now it needs to be customized for her head. And what I'm going to do is just cut out some more baby hairs if I need to, mousse it down, and just lay everything down. She is doing the slick back look, so I need this thing to be slick back, so that means I need to use a lot of mousse and a lot of water. It's glueless, baby, so you can use whatever amount you want to. It's your way. What, what slogan is that? Do it your way. Have it your way. That's Burger King. Yeah. Have it your way. It's glueless, so you literally have time to play in this. You don't have to worry about glue lifting. None of that. So now I'm just going in and spraying it down with Gatsby spray just to secure her wig. And when I do this to my client's glueless wigs, baby, this baby hair wig action lasts for about two weeks. And that's because I make sure to tell them to put a band on your head. My clients know. I don't play with y'all. Put a band on your head. Make sure you're securing your hair down every day. Okay? You want this to last, it will last as long as you take care of it. A hairstylist can only do 50%. You have to meet me halfway. So let's work together and meet each other halfway.
know I had to pull out that hot comb and get it going real slick back. And y'all see what the mousse does? It really lays the wig down. Like the mousse does everything that you want it to do. So now I'm gonna go in with my hot comb, make sure everything is slick back, and then I'm gonna go in with some mousse and water just to lay the hair down a little bit more nicely. Because it is glueless, I make my client hold her edges down because, you know, combing and slicking it back, I can get a little rough sometimes. And no, it's not going to move, but I'd rather not, I'd rather not, like, slip back a little bit or whatever the case may be and just have her hold it and secure it. And don't worry, we wiped everything down. Like, I wipe everything down before and after each client. I spray it. I go in with it. That's the precautionary measures you need to take. You need to spray it yourself. Spray your clients. Shoot, I don't care. Get it going. Make your money and be safe. The main thing is being safe. Being safe. That's all. Just be safe while you're doing this. Okay? I want to suggest you do too many people, though. Don't get, don't get crazy. Because when you get out of hand and when you get comfortable, that's when things slip up. No, that's not what we're doing here. Get into it. Get into it. I'm over here dancing while I'm watching this video because, well, while I'm editing it. Because, girl, like, it looked good, but it looked good. And I'm going to show you some phone videos that I took. Well, actually, I think I showed it in the beginning. But, yeah, like, lace laid. This is glueless, y'all. Glueless. Glueless. Lace laid. Baby hair slayed. I think I might use that as a slogan, which I think. But yeah, it looks so good. The curly hair looks so fire. Um, I will insert some of her photo shoot pictures at the end. So be sure to look for that and check that out. Thank you guys for supporting me. Like, come on, we almost at 10K, y'all. We almost at 10K. Thank y'all for supporting me, subscribing, liking. Thank y'all for adding me on Instagram. All your questions. I know my DMs are going crazy, but it's like, I'm sorry. I'm trying to answer everybody. It's only me. But I'm going to. Don't worry. I got you, sis. I love y'all, mamitas. Just continue to support. And I'm going to continue to give y'all the content y'all need. Bye.